Hello everybody, today I'm going to share with you this iMac Late 2006. This one in particular is the 20 inch version and is the middle of the Late 2006 iMac lineup. Below it was the 17 inch version and above it was the 24 inch version. So this was the middle option of those three. Inside it has an Intel Core 2 Duo processor running at 2.16 GHz. Interestingly enough, that is the same baseline processor that came in the 24-inch iMac at the time as well. It has 3 GB of DDR2 memory inside, which is actually the maximum amount that this machine can support. If you put anything more inside of it, like 4 gigs, it'll only use and recognize 3. So, for the graphics in this machine, we have ATI Radeon X 1600 with 128 megabytes of video memory. Pretty decent for the time. We also have a 250 gigabyte spinning hard drive in addition to the super drive over here on the side. You may also notice the additional accessory here of the Apple remote which did come with these machines at the time and just magnet it on to the side of the machine. This machine however is held back. The maximum operating system that it can support is 1075 or Lion. Lion is a great operating system and I really love the design of this iMac. If I could still use this thing to this very day, which I technically still can, however, you can't run any modern applications. You're running older stuff on it and you can access the internet and YouTube does work fine. However, it's not up to date. It is 11 years old at this point in time, made in 2006, and it's 2017 here. But this design I will always love, and I think it's just really, really cool. So, let's go ahead and take a look around. On the top of the machine, right above the screen, we will find our EyeSight camera, and to the left of that, we will find our built-in microphone. Working our way down the right hand side of the machine we will find our super drive in addition to our wireless remote. On the back of the machine at the top we will find some ventilation in addition to the iMac logo. Reaching around the bottom left hand corner of the machine we will find our power button. Taking a look at the ports moving from left to right we have audio out, audio in, three USB 2.0 ports, two FireWire 400 ports, Ethernet, and Mini DVI video out. Taking a look behind the stand, we will find our power port, ventilation for one of the fans inside, and our Kensington lock port. On the bottom of the machine, we will find our stereo speakers, in addition to ventilation and the access door for the RAM in the middle. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn this thing on. Here we go. So if I didn't previously mention, this machine is running 10.75, which is Lion. That's the maximum operating system that this machine can support. And everything on it is pretty much out of date. Nothing is really up to date. However, you can do things absolutely fine on this machine. And here we are, up and running. Not a problem there. It's decently fast on uh, boot up. So, we'll go ahead and take a look at about this Mac. We can see our 2.16 GHz processor and our 3 GB of memory, which is the maximum amount that this machine can support. So we'll go ahead and exit out of that. Now, of course, the default browser here is Safari. We can go ahead and open that. There's nothing really in the top sites anymore, which is the default thing that it likes to load up with. And even if we go to Apple's website, you'll notice not even their main thing here loads anymore. It must be programmed in a different language that this browser just can't understand. So anyway, but if you leave Safari behind, and you can use Firefox or Chrome, or even Opera, all of those will be out of date. They're not up to date anymore. 
And just for example, Firefox here is held back at version 48. However, you can still do things absolutely fine with it. We can go to Lighting Gallery here for example. It's taking, uh, there we go. And we can see all of this loads just fine. Not a problem there. And it's pretty snappy at it too for loading the page while scrolling that is. Of course YouTube will work just fine on this machine. I haven't had any problems with YouTube on this machine in particular. Like I said I really like the design of this machine and everything so I use it quite often and it's nicer to use sometimes an older operating system just go back and mess around with it. It works just fine. YouTube will actually try to play in 1080p HD, but that's definitely too much for this machine. Um, but it'll try to play it. It will. Um, but yeah, YouTube works just fine on this computer. And I've used other things on here, uh, such as like Office Online and different things like that. It all works just fine. So anything that you would throw at it, Facebook, Twitter, whatever, It'll all work just fine on this machine. Same goes for uh, Chrome here as well. It'll all work fine on these two browsers. I haven't tried Opera, but I'm sure it might work fine on that as well. Safari is a little more out of date than these two are. So if you stick with Firefox or Chrome, you'll be just fine on this machine. Of course, we have Office 2011 here, which is the newest version of Office supported on this machine. So go ahead and load Word. And there we are, it'll give us our options. We can hit choose. And there's our document. You can of course make it bigger. That's a little too big. And uh, go ahead and start typing your paper or whatever it may be. But Word and Excel and all the other applications like PowerPoint work just fine on this machine. There's not a problem there at all. So do all these other applications. They work fine on this machine here as well. Of course, a lot of them are older applications, but that's not a problem. As they all, even though they're older, they still do the job. They might be just a little bit slower, but like I say, it, it does it, and it does it to the best of its ability, and that's what matters. Minecraft, it the newest, newest version won't work, but if you go into your preferences and set it back to an older version, you can still run it just fine. Uh, I don't think Roblox works on this machine anymore. Uh, it might, it might, it might. Um, I don't know. I haven't uh, seen anybody use it on this machine in a long time, so. But it's on here, and it looks like an up-to-date thing, so whatever. I don't care. I don't play it, but it's on here, so it was used at one point. But all these applications work just fine to this very day. Not a problem at all. Of course, like I've said a hundred times here, they're older, but they get the job done, and it all works. So anyway, a fantastic machine. It does a job. I love it. I'll go ahead and shut it down now. I really do hope you enjoyed this video of this 20 inch late 2006 iMac in 2017. Also please comment, rate, and subscribe and thank you very much for watching.